Listeners, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll talk about the text area, the text area overview in Titan Web. So, text area is very commonly used in Salesforce almost everywhere. So, this is where you can make a full use of it. Under the input, you've got text area. It's same as if you ever use Form Titan, really. It's used for paragraphs, it's used for anything that doesn't fit into the text field. It's super, super handy. If you want to be able to style it, you need to click on the full screen styling option where you can see the different attributes available where you can style them. And then on the gear icon is where you begin to do the core settings. So under the content, you can change different types of, um, well, so currently it's text area, but you can convert it into another different type if you wish. Show label, you can change the label. Let's say if I want this to be description. You can change the placeholder, enter, or we can just say type here, something like that. You can give it a default value. So upon um, preview, this will be the default value unless changed. And then from the here on, you can even add different length. So you can say maximum length, this um, input field text area can accept is 200. The interactivity, you've got whole heaps of options here. Hide, unload, disable, make it mandatory, make it read only, it's up to you. You can add a prefix and a enable clear icon, tab order, you know, uncheck and check valid indicators. This is your Salesforce. So here you can configure um, all the Salesforce integration. Here you can modify the conditions. If you want to set certain value rules, then you can do that as well. So here you can, you know, go crazy with all the options you have available. And then you can set an animation for it if you wish. And then here's the metadata. So here I can just, you know, it's always important to give it a certain uh, tag. And then this is the field ID, comment, and control type is text area. So let's do something with it. Let's create like an opportunity. So what I'll do is, Okay, a bunch of fields here. So we'll get this one, this one will be opportunity name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and modify the tags on it and then we'll go ahead and push it. So label, name, and then we'll give this one know, stage, something like that. And then I know close date is also a mandatory field, so I'll get like a little date field here. This one is good, we can get this one, and we can just put this one over here. And then finally, we will get a button which will go ahead and create this opportunity for me. And I'll, let's move this up a little bit like this, and then good, we're good to go. Alright, go back to the integration, let's go and set up a push, create new, create opportunity, and then in the mapping, so start with Salesforce. Uh, let's go ahead and filter based on name. So name will be name. So this is where it just goes to show. We go here now that this will be it's best to give it a name. So we'll name it in the tag like this, name it in the stage, like this. All right, back in the push now. So we'll go back to Salesforce, set up a little push. Again, you can do a get, it's completely up to you really. And then from here on, you know, you can go ahead and do the mapping once you select your object. Opportunity, mapping name will be name, stage will be stage, and then, I suppose, close date needs to be a date field, so we'll put today in there. And description, we'll make a description. Like that. And click apply, close, and then this one, we can say on click action. Let's go and give it a Salesforce action, which is to create my opportunity. Apply, apply and save. So let's go ahead and preview. 
So like this. So now I can say opportunity text area. We'll say we'll just make one up here. Close slash flash. No, we can say cross texting. Date field can be this. And then I'll say Titan web description. Now I can just copy paste this like that and then we're good to go. Now I'll go ahead and push this data to Salesforce. It's been pushed. Let's see if an opportunity has been created. Let's go and check our integration logs. Here, integration logs. There's my opportunity. Let's go in there. There it is, opportunity text area. As you can see, this is my description being pulled through, and uh, and that's how you do it. That's the simple how to create using text area with Titan 